I guess in 93, we published with Jan Krzysztof Kellus and Ursula Sikorska, he's a fantastic bard of Polish opposition with fantastic songs. Uh, and we wrote together with this couple the bestseller of the underground, The Little Conspirator. That's a collection of writing made by the people temporarily at liberty. That's, uh, that's uh, the beginning of the book. I wrote in this book the main chapter, how to plot. How to plot, that the first chapter, the second is citizen versus secret police, and the third, which is a masterpiece made by Kellus, it's interrogation game. And uh, let me make a jump. After the death of my wife, Marysia Twardowska, uh, it was six years ago, I guess, I made two, uh, two uh, double games trips to Cuba. I was sent by Institute for Democracy in Eastern Europe, uh, directed by Irena Lasota and Eric Chenovet in Washington, and they, they financed this trip. I went there as an architect looking for some opportunities to make an exhibition, okay. I just interviewed the opposition. So after that, I wrote my manual, uh, Freedom a Do It Yourself Manual. And that's, uh, that's a small booklet you can put into your pocket. So that's smaller than Moleskin, but it's always covered with regime newspaper. So that's Daily Worker in English, that's Pravda in Russian, that's Tribuna Ludo in Polish, that's Granma in Spanish. Because it was a long, long day's tradition of 60s and 70s, when someone was reading an illegal booklet in the public transportation, in the train or in the bus. I don't know why, but people were covering it with a regular, a bit dirty regime newspaper. So when I have seen someone in the train reading a book of a format I knew in a regular daily newspaper, daily paper, I was quite sure that's Parisian Cultura or Annex from London or something which is not legal or half legal, okay? So we repeated this trick and uh, cover, we covered the, 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 our booklet with this regime newspaper and with, a, with the recommendation of Lech Wałęsa, which was an implant within this. Uh, it was kind of collage in this newspaper. So uh, in this patriotic business, for instance, you will find a scheme of Palace of Culture, because when we were arrested in a relatively large group from our CDN firm, my successor, Tomasz Krawczyk, who was a mathematician, was working in Palace of Culture. And Palace of Culture is a fantastic labyrinth for people who know them, know, know this building. So they, 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 trick, they were tricking, uh, pursuing police, hiding in some rooms. And this road of uh, chain, command chain, chain of command, was, was designed as an illustration of this, how the system was working when in 85, 86, police knew relatively a lot about us, but didn't know the structure. So in this book you will find, for instance, the files, police files, how they imagined our structure. For instance, in their scheme, it was something as embassy. They didn't mention U.S., Israeli embassy, you know. But they, it was quite sure that they have an image which was completely false, how the chain of command is working within the firm. But those experience from real underground enterprise was used in an enigmatic way uh, not touching special details in The Little Conspirator. But uh, psychologically, what was a very, very nice and unique experience in my life as a political writer, that because I was anonymous, and we were, we were three anonymous 
authors. The booklet was anonymous, was printed in different publishing initiatives in more than 100,000 copies, for sure. We published in CDN in more than 40,000 copies, the small booklet. What made this book so popular? Because I was using sometimes some expressions, very personal, which became uh, our lingua franca within the firm. For instance, I uh, refurbished or renewed the word to plot, jak knuć, which has a pejorative sense in Polish. But instead to say we will conspire, which means something very serious, how we will plot, how we will plot against reds. We called communist reds or more, uh, with less dignity, the red, as one red which is, which is signalizing the system. So when people started to read this booklet, they took it not as my personal language, but they, our, pers that our language. And that's made, from my viewpoint, this book so popular. So the principle of uh, the little conspirator, be more intelligent, more creative, more systematic, more workaholic, don't be lazy, don't leave your door open when you are plotting, because your flat can be open only for your friends, but when that's too open, it's open for the secret police as well. So it was a kind of permanent self-education of each of us, which made the firm efficient and stabilized and sustainable. For me, the biggest satisfaction was that after our mass arrestations in 86, the firm, under direction of Thomas Krafczyk and my colleagues, was still producing books, leaflets, and as well my essays from jail. I smuggled. So it was for me the sense of sense of, of the work, of a political work, political job.